All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be talking about Coiny. We're gonna go into a little bit about what Coiny is, the underlying stock, which is Coinbase, ticker symbol C-O-I-N, Coin. And what I'm gonna do, look, guys, I am no cryptocurrency expert. There's a lot of better people on the internet who could talk about cryptocurrencies. But if you are interested in Coiny, what I'm going to do is give you guys a little bit of an interesting perspective. This is a perspective on Coiny and Coinbase from someone who is not necessarily super familiar about the whole kind of cryptocurrency space. And why this might be an interesting video is because I'm an outsider looking in. I'm going to give you guys some perspectives on maybe why people are putting in their $155,000 portfolio and even uh, one point. 1.7 million dollars into coiny why people are buying coiny so much i'm going to talk about why there's potentially an opportunity in the space how people feel about it and also why people might see cryptocurrency in the future growing and becoming a much bigger industry and that's why they're investing in coiny and coinbase so i hope you guys do enjoy this video we're up to 3293 subscribers we're seven subscribers away from 3300 subscribers so if you could please make that happen if you're new to the channel you haven't seen our videos before we make a lot of videos on a lot of the yield max etfs so if you're interested in that please do subscribe but without further ado let's get into this video and i just want to start by saying uh, mr ethan gelstad He's actually pretty good. I watched a couple of his videos. He's got some great videos. He's a smaller YouTuber, about 17K. I can't say that because I only have 3K. So please do subscribe. No, it's fine. But yeah, so he's got a little bit more subscribers than me. And he's a successful businessman. I, I watched a couple of his videos and he said that he created a company where it's like an IT company. I'm pretty sure, but he's made a lot of money and he invested $1.7 million into Coney. And I'm seeing a lot of these other channels saying that they're also investing about $155,000 into Coiny, um, Coiny, and that's a pretty substantial investment for any kind of ETF, and especially one that pays close to a 70% dividend. Now, the really cool thing about Coiny, and I wish I could really show you on the YieldMax website, but unfortunately, they're kind of down today, so I wasn't able to pick it up. I'm not sure if it was my internet or what it is, but my internet's working fine. Coiny is a $22.25 stock. It is a yield max ETF. It writes synthetic covered calls on Coinbase, as do all the yield max ETFs. And it's got a current dividend yield of about 70% or so. The last dividend came in at about $1.21, <throat> which is a fantastic dividend. If you take a million dollars, or you know what, let's do, let's do the annualized dividend. So we'll do 1.21 times 12 so you're talking about 14 14 dollars and 52 cents on a 22 dollar and 25 cent dividend stock divided by 22.25 you're looking at roughly a dividend yield of about 65 percent and the reason why the dividend yield went down is because coiny's actually been on a little bit of an uptrend lately as you can see going from 18 dollars all the way up to 22 dollars so about a 10 percent return maybe a little bit more there which is awesome but if you're multiplying this times one um 1.7 million which is 1.000000 that's looking at a dividend distribution of about 1 million 100 thousand and not 1 million 109 thousand dollars and you divide that by 12 you're looking at getting paid roughly about ninety thousand dollars every single month for that 107 million dollar investment in coiny which is pretty insane as long as they do keep up obviously their dividends and all that so ninety two thousand that is incredible and that is why people are investing so much money in coiny obviously it pays a high dividend the underlying stock people believe in coinbase they believe in the platform it's a place where you buy sell trade trust you buy sell and trade cryptocurrency i actually used to have coinbase and i used to invest in cryptocurrencies obviously i didn't know as much i invested in things like bitcoin and even um algorand was a big one for me because it was a cryptocurrency that paid a dividend you know it was like it was like a yield max etf but unfortunately i wasn't really trading with too much money and i found the coinbase fees to be a bit high and that's why i kind of stay away from coinbase i'm not a huge believer in coinbase but i am an overall believer in the bitcoin space and the reason being 
is that look at this we have 146 million bitcoin addresses in total meaning 146 million kind of like accounts have traded bitcoin and there's a real potential for the space of course the us could regulate things like bitcoin and how we kind of interact and trade it but there's a potential for mass market adoption for cryptocurrencies obviously and countries are adopting bitcoin as legal tender as you know currencies I'm not sure if it was Venezuela or certain countries, don't quote me on this at all, but some countries are switching to using Bitcoin just due to the fact that their underlying currencies, their dollars are not that strong. And so they feel that cryptocurrencies could offer a safer and more reliable way for their country citizens to transact. Now, that is one thing that's bullish for Coiny is that the space is very new. Cryptocurrencies is still very new. Obviously, it's growing and it's Coiny is a platform to trade it. It's not necessarily a small company. It's a $20 billion market cap. Currently, the earnings per share, I haven't really looked into the financials, so I'm going to kind of check that out right now. It seems like they're kind of growing over time. They did lose a lot of money last year, about $2.6 billion, which is a big hit. And I'm not necessarily saying Coiny is a great investment. I'm just kind of showing you here. Wow, did their their balance sheet absolutely grow up to 89 million? Their current liabilities also substantially grew. So about a nine a nine billion dollar difference between their liabilities to assets and the positive side, which is you know it's not bad. That's for a 20 billion dollar company and then going into their cash flow obviously their cash from operations was negative their net income was negative they had a massive year last year in 2021 that could be due to the fact that you know certain cryptocurrencies were rallying like bitcoin and so there might have been a lot of hype and a lot of transactions around that now just looking even here they're reinvesting back to themselves which is what we want to see but the free cash flow was negative so coiny it's an interesting company. I'm not necessarily as bullish as I think a lot of people on YouTube are about Coiny, but I do believe that there is potential in the space as people could see it as I myself see it as well. Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin is kind of like a hedge against inflation. You could compare it to gold and silver as it kind of tracks the dollar. But I, I find cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin to be a lot more volatile, which is also a lot more exciting. But when you're talking about a lot of your money, sometimes boring can be nice you know you don't want absolutely massive swings day to day like you could see in bitcoin but with all that being said i hope you guys did enjoy this video look coin is an interesting stock this is kind of my perspective on it i do think there's a space for it to grow obviously the yield max version has done very well as coiny has done pretty good over the past month or so definitely rallying from 70 dollars all the way up to 85 dollars, and you see that in coiny stock now at the same time if the coinbase stock was to fall as we've seen here it went from 88 dollars down to 70 dollars you could see that the, you know what the coiny etf actually held up pretty well and wow did it respond really good in that uptrend so that was really good to see if you were a coiny investor long term it's going to be interesting to see if coiny can keep up that 60 percent dividend and keep paying out those massive massive dividends i know a lot of people are investing so that's going to be exciting but yeah, this was just a little video on Coiny, my thoughts on the space, the overall space kind of Bitcoin. I know Bitcoin is not the only cryptocurrency ETF, but just kind of my overall thoughts on the crypto space and how Coinbase could potentially attack it and definitely benefit from that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and got a new perspective on Coiny. I hope you guys, please do subscribe. We just need seven more subscribers. We'll get to that 3,300 subscriber marker. If you can make that happen, I'd be more than happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It served you well and made you smile. I will see you guys in the next one when I come out with one. And uh, I hope you guys have a great day. Take care, guys.